BitMEX is the exchange that I use to trade with leverage on. First off, you should definitely use an affiliate link to sign up for BitMEX because it will give you 10% off fees for six months. And all affiliate links are the same, but if you want to use mine, I would appreciate it. Uh, and it's in the video description. So there are a lot of features and kind of things flashing around on BitMEX. So I'm gonna give you a walkthrough and tell you everything you need to know to start actually making orders, setting your targets and stops and mitigate fees. First things first, let's go to leverage. The default setting for leverage is cross which means it puts your entire account balance at risk if the price moves too far in the opposite direction of your trade. So I would suggest never having leverage on cross and instead choose how much leverage you want to use. So in this case, I'm gonna choose 5X leverage for the examples in this video. All right, now let's talk about the different ways to actually place an order and enter a position. The first way is placing a limit order. We see we have the limit tab checked up here the quantity is the USD equivalent of our position size. So for example, if we were going to long with $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, remember since we're using 5X leverage, we're only actually gonna be putting up $200 of our money to long with $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. And then the price is obviously the price that we want to enter. So the most cost efficient way to enter a limit order is to use the post only. With post only, you actually get a rebate when your order gets filled. So whatever this amount is, you receive 0.025% basically for free, just for providing liquidity to the exchange. However, your order will not get filled right away because you have to set a price and then let the BitMEX price come to you. And obviously someone has to be willing to buy or sell at that price. So for example, let's say we want to use post only and we want to long Bitcoin, so we would have to choose a number below the current price, which is around 8086. So let's say I want to long Bitcoin for 8080, and I'm gonna click buy slash long. And now we can see under active orders that we have an order in the order book for a thousand contracts or a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. So when the price comes down to 8080 and someone's willing to sell at that price, we will buy. So that's the first way to place a limit order. I'm gonna just go ahead and cancel that. The second way, if you wanna get in right away, is basically just choose the lowest amount you're willing to buy for. And all of this is gonna be opposite in the case of a sell or a short, but right now I'm just talking about longing. So let's say I wanna get in now, but I'm not willing to get in for higher than 80, 90. And we would have to uncheck post only because this order would not be going to the order book. It would be executing immediately. So now if we click buy, our order filled, and now we're actually long 1000 contracts of Bitcoin. And our entry price is 8085. If at any point I want to add or scale out of this position, I can simply place another order for however many contracts I want to add or subtract. And instead of showing up as a separate order in BitMEX, it will actually show up as the same order and just adjust the size and the average entry price accordingly. So, okay, that's the first way to actually enter a position is the limit order. A second way is market order. And this is if you want to buy or sell, i.e. long or short Bitcoin, and you don't care about the price, you just want it to execute as quickly as possible, and it will execute according to what's in the order book. So now let's say, I quickly want to buy 20 more contracts and I'm willing to pay this current price. I'm also willing to pay, you know, a couple dollars more than that if my $20 will really change the price, which it obviously will not. <laughs> but then I would just click buy. And as you can see, it executed right away and it increased my size from 1000 to 1020. And it also adjusted my entry price to be the average. All right, so that's all you need to know about actually placing an order and getting into a position. Now let's talk about setting targets and setting stop losses. And once again, there's different ways to do that. So first let's talk about targets because it's a little bit simpler. I'm actually gonna click this down arrow, which will bring a drop down menu here. And we can go to take profit limit. So now you see we have some more options. The trigger price is really our target price that we're looking for because it's gonna tell BitMEX to sell our position at our desired price. 
So let's say we want to sell Bitcoin when it hits $9,000. So I would just click $9,000 here. And then the limit price is the price down to which I'm willing to sell. So for example, I want to sell at nine, but if my order would take it below, let's say 89.90, I wouldn't want to sell below that. So I want to sell between 89.90 and nine, but when it reaches 9,000, that will trigger the order to happen. Okay, and then for quantity, we put in our position size that we want to sell. And in this example, I'm just gonna put in 1,020 because that's our position size, and I want to close my entire order in profit if we reach $9,000. You'll see some check marks down here. In this case, we want to make sure that post only is not checked, and we want to make sure close on trigger is checked. Close on trigger ensures that it only executes if we still have this position open, so we just wanna make sure to have that checked. And we're gonna click take profit sell. Uh, this is just kind of a disclaimer explaining what this is. You can choose to not show it again. And now we've set our target. So if we look under the stops tab, we see that we have an order of 1,020 contracts to sell when the price hits 9,000 or more, and we're gonna sell down to 89.90. If we want to change this, we can simply hover over it and click the pencil, and then maybe we wanna reduce it to 89.95, and then just click the check mark. And so that's a simple way to actually edit your orders that have not yet been filled. So this is one way to set a take profit order, but I'm gonna cancel this and actually show you an even simpler way. If we go back to this drop-down menu, now we can go to take profit market, and now there's just one price. So once again, if we want to sell or close our position in profit when the price of Bitcoin reaches 9,000, then once again, we enter our contract size our target price, make sure close on trigger is checked, and just click sell. And now once again, you see it comes up in our stops as an order for when Bitcoin hits 9,000, we'll sell. All right, so that's all you need to know about setting targets. Now let's talk about setting stop losses. Once again, there's a few different ways. The first way is a stop limit order, and it's effectively the same thing as the take profit limit order, but in this case, we want to set it for a stop loss. So let's say if Bitcoin drops to 7,500, we actually want to just cut our losses and cut out of the trade. So we're going to enter that as our stop price. Once again, we're going to enter the price that we're willing to sell down to. So this would be less than 7,500. So let's say 7,400. And we just enter our position size, which is already 1,020. Again, we want close on trigger checked, post only should not be checked, and click sell. So this will appear in the stops tab uh, right here, but I'm gonna cancel that and again show you an even simpler way, which is the stop market order. Again, in the drop down, just click stop market, and 7,500 is already there for us. So we just click sell. Using a stop market is actually a bit safer because it ensures that we cut out of our entire position when the price hits 7,500. And so now our trade is all set up. We are long 1,020 contracts or US dollars worth of Bitcoin. And if we go to stops, when Bitcoin reaches 9,000, we will sell for profit. Or if it hits 7,500 first, we will sell at a loss. And that's the basics of using BitMEX. You can reverse everything I just said if you want to short, and so it basically works the same exact way, except everything is just reversed. Should be fairly straightforward. A couple things you wanna pay attention to. First of all, the liquidation price. When the mark price, which is an average price across other exchanges, when the mark price reaches your liquidation price, you will automatically get liquidated by BitMEX, meaning they will close your position at a loss. And you don't want that to happen, so you want to make sure your stop loss is well above your liquidation price, which in this case, if you remember, our stop loss is actually 7,500. And so we don't have to worry about getting liquidated because our stop loss will get triggered well before it reaches 6,700. If this liquidation price is too high, that means you're using too much leverage. And so you can actually reduce your leverage by just clicking here. 
So I just reduced it from 5x to 3x, and you'll notice the liquidation price actually dropped to 6086. Similarly, we can increase our leverage the same way. Um, I think that should be pretty much everything you need to know to get started trading on BitMEX. Uh, margin is just the amount of money that you have tied up in a trade. And so it doesn't account for leverage. It just shows your personal money in a trade. So for example, I have 0.0424 Bitcoin riding in this trade. As the price of Bitcoin goes up, obviously I will profit. So that will increase. And if it goes down, it will decrease. If you want to close your trade quickly, then you can just go over here and click market and that will close your trade at the current market price just in case something's happening and you want to get out of your trade immediately before either a target or a stop loss is hit one last thing i want to show you actually is the calculator so if you go up here you can click on this calculator icon and this is a pretty cool thing it lets you calculate how much you will lose or win based on your trade setup so in this case we are long 1020 contracts our entry price is 80.85 roughly. And our leverage is 3x in this case. Uh, our desired target, I believe, was 9,000. So if we hit our target, oh, and we're long. We have to make sure to click long. If we hit our target, we will make 0 0.0128. And then if we hit our stop loss, we will lose 0 0.0098. Um, and so you can use this calculator to kind of come up with that beforehand, as well as see what your liquidation price would be based on the amount of leverage you're using, and take a look at what your target price would be if you have a certain return um, in mind. So I think this calculator is very useful. And then if you want to trade other cryptos or quarterly futures contracts, uh, you can just click on any one of these and they all work the same way. One final thing about fees is that if you do place a market order or any order that you don't use post only for, you pay 0.075% on your contract size. It doesn't matter how much leverage you're using, you just pay that on your contract size. So these have been the basics of the BitMEX platform, and now you should be able to start trading. Thanks for watching and good luck.